Meet Sam the Internet Explorer. I loved the internet. Playing games, watching videos, and chatting with friends was my jam. The internet was my playground, a vast digital world full of endless possibilities. From sunrise to sunset, I'd be glued to my computer screen, exploring the vast expanse of the World Wide Web. I knew every corner of my favorite websites, navigated online forums with ease, and could spot a funny meme from a mile away. For me, the internet wasn't just a tool. It was my companion, my source of entertainment, and my window to the world. I couldn't imagine life without it. Whether it was researching for a school project, connecting with friends, or simply surfing for fun, I was always online, my fingers dancing across the keyboard, my eyes glued to the screen. Little did I know, however, that the online world, much like the real world, could hold hidden dangers, and lurking in the shadows were threats that could turn my digital playground into a digital nightmare. One day, my digital world came crashing down. My trusty computer, once a portal to endless fun, began acting strangely. It was sluggish and unresponsive. Pop-up ads flooded my screen like a swarm of angry bees, each one more annoying than the last. My favorite game, once a smooth and immersive experience, now lagged and stuttered, making it impossible to play. The vibrant colors of my online world seemed to dim, replaced by a dull and frustrating haze. Fear gnawed at my mind. What if my computer was broken beyond repair? What if I lost all my precious files, my photos, my music? The thought of being disconnected from the online world sent shivers down my spine. I needed help, and fast. Luckily for me, my older sister Mia was a tech whiz. She knew everything about computers and the internet. Mia was a cybersecurity expert, a digital guardian angel who fought against online threats and kept her data safe. She had a knack for explaining complex technical concepts in simple terms, making it easy for anyone to understand. Seeing me in distress, Mia immediately came to my rescue. She listened patiently as I described the strange behavior of my computer, her brow furrowing with concern. She knew that something wasn't right. With a reassuring smile, she told me not to worry. We'll fix this, she said confidently. Mia was on the case, ready to use her cybersecurity skills to rid my computer of whatever digital gremlins had taken up residence. My investigation started with the basics. Sam, I began, my voice firm yet gentle. Tell me about your passwords, Sam mumbled, embarrassed. Don't tell me you use password 123 for everything. I chuckled, shaking my head. I explained that a strong password was like a sturdy lock on a door, keeping intruders out. A weak password is like leaving your door wide open, I warned. I taught Sam the importance of creating strong and unique passwords for each of his online accounts. I explained that a strong password should be a mix of upper and lower case letters, numbers and symbols. I even shared a trick for remembering complex passwords, using a phrase that was easy to remember but difficult for others to guess. Section 5. Software Updates – Keeping the Bad Guys Out Next, I turned my attention to software updates. Software updates are like giving your computer a booster shot, patching up vulnerabilities that hackers could exploit. Think of it like this. Software updates are like the security guards of your computer constantly on the lookout for weaknesses and fixing them before the bad guys can get in. Sam, now understanding the importance of these updates, felt a surge of urgency. He realized that he had been ignoring those update notifications, dismissing them as annoying pop-ups. Little did he know that those seemingly insignificant messages were crucial for keeping his computer safe. Section 6. Click with caution, avoiding online traps. I then emphasized the importance of being cautious about what you click on. I showed him examples of phishing emails and fake websites designed to trick people into giving away their personal information. Not everything that glitters is gold. If something looks too good to be true online, it probably is. She explained that phishing emails often disguise themselves as legitimate messages from banks' social media platforms or online stores. Mia taught Sam to carefully examine the sender's address, look for grammatical errors, and be wary of links that seemed suspicious. Section 7 Secure Connections Surfing on Safe Waves I then introduced Sam to the concept of secure connections. 
When you see a padlock icon and HTTPS in the address bar of your browser, it means your connection is encrypted and secure. It's like surfing on safe waves, protected from prying eyes. She warned him about using public Wi-Fi networks, which often lack proper security measures, making it easy for hackers to intercept sensitive information. Mia stressed the importance of using a virtual private network, or VPN, when connecting to public Wi-Fi, creating a secure tunnel for his data to travel through. It's like having your own private beach party, where only invited guests are allowed. Section 8 Ad Blockers – Navigating a Clean Internet Sea Finally, Mia introduced Sam to the wonders of ad blockers. She explained that while some ads were harmless, others could be malicious, spreading malware or tracking his online activity. Ad blockers are like your trusty spam filter for the internet, she explained, keeping your screen clean and your browsing experience enjoyable. With a few clicks, Mia installed a reputable ad blocker on Sam's computer. Instantly, the sea of annoying pop-ups vanished, replaced by a clean and uncluttered browsing experience. Sam was amazed. He had no idea how much those intrusive ads had been affecting his online experience. The internet felt like a brand new playground free from distractions and potential dangers. Section 9 Sam's triumph, back online and safer than ever. Armed with his newfound cybersecurity knowledge, Sam felt empowered. He diligently followed Mia's advice, creating strong passwords, updating his software, and browsing with caution. He even installed an ad blocker and started using a VPN on public Wi-Fi. His efforts paid off. His computer was back to its old self, running smoothly and efficiently. The annoying pop-ups were gone, replaced by a clean and safe online experience. Sam was back to his online adventures, exploring the digital world with renewed confidence. He realized that cybersecurity wasn't about being a tech whiz. It was about being smart, responsible, and aware of the potential dangers lurking in the digital shadows. Section 10, Sharing is Caring, Sam's Cybersecurity Crusade. Sam was so grateful for Mia's help that he decided to share his newfound cybersecurity knowledge with his friends. He knew that they too could benefit from learning how to stay safe online. He gathered his friends at his favorite spot, the local pizza place, and with the enthusiasm of a tech evangelist, shared everything Mia had taught him. He explained the importance of strong passwords, software updates, cautious clicking, secure connections, and ad blockers. He even showed them how to create their own unique passwords and install a reputable ad blocker. His friends, initially skeptical, were soon captivated by Sam's passionate presentation. They realized that cybersecurity wasn't just for tech geeks, it was for everyone who used the internet. Section 11. Stay safe online. Join CyberSafe 101 today. Sam's cybersecurity crusade didn't end there. He knew that there were countless others out there who were unaware of the potential dangers lurking in the digital world. He wanted to reach as many people as possible to empower them with the knowledge and tools to stay safe online. With Mia's help, he created CyberSafe 101, a website dedicated to providing simple and easy to understand cybersecurity tips for everyone. Join CyberSafe 101 today, Sam urged, and let's make the internet a safer place for everyone. He believed that by working together, by sharing knowledge and spreading awareness, they could create a digital world where everyone could surf, play, and connect without fear. Remember, cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay safe online.